Hi there, Dominic here with an introduction to the Polygon Extrude tool on the Mesh Edit tab, shortcut Shift X, Polygon Bevel, found on the Polygon tab, shortcut B, and the Smooth Shift tool, also on the Polygon tab, no shortcut by default. Now you will also find them grouped on the Basic tab actually, Bevel, Extrude and Smooth Shift. But normally the Extrude is over here on the Mesh Edit tab, so I'm first going to create a cube, make a selection of a face by clicking on it in polygon mode, going to my mesh edit tab, click on extrude or press shift x and then right click in my viewport. You can also left click in your viewport but left clicking sometimes results also in left clicking and dragging at the same time which causes your geometry already to be offset. Right click does not let you do that so when you right click then it activates the tool without clicking and dragging. And when the handles appear, the extrusion has been done, so all I have to do now is drag the handles, and you see, I'm going to drop the tool by spacebar, that polygon has been extruded along the face normal, if you will. I can make also a multiple selection, shift X, right click in the viewport, and you see, when I go over there, I can drag out the extrusion just like that. Shift clicking in the viewport always results in your tool being reactivated. So when you shift click and I drag out, you see I get a new extrusion. And to activate the tool again with the offset being done, with these settings can be done with middle mouse button click. So like you see, each time when I middle mouse button click, my last extrusion is being performed with the offsets according to these values. So with this, this extrusion active, when I for instance do that and drag uh, it back to there and drag it a bit up, now when I middle mouse button click, you see my last extrusion is being repeated with those settings. So it can be very handy to middle mouse button click or just like I'm going to do now, shift left mouse button click, which reactivates my tool without the offset, and then again I can click and drag like that. Now often you will want to work with an action center, so right now my axis handles are aligned to the world, and I found the extrude tool not to behave very well with action centers, maybe it's because they are a bit buggy right now in Modo 601. So let me show you what I mean when I set it to selection, for instance. And when I now again click in the viewport, you see my handles are still aligned to the world axis, but I have performed a bevel. When I'm dropping the tool right now, clear my selection by clicking in the viewport, and you will see over here, you can see it already a bit because this line is dark, a double one because I activated the accent center and clicked again in the viewport. So I'm deleting that one, go out of sub D. So with my action center for instance set to element and make a selection and shift X to activate my extrude tool, right click in the viewport. Now with my action center set to element, normally when you now left mouse button click or right mouse button click for instance on this edge here or on this vertex or on a face like that, my axis handles should get aligned to the normal of that element. But as you see when I click here on the polygon or right click on the edge or left click here on the vert, my axis handles do not get aligned so I think this is a bug and I will report a bug, re uh, a bug report for that. Um, so most of the times you'll use this tool pretty straightforward, make a selection, shift X, right click or left click, but I also always right click and then just click the handles or click in the viewport and click and drag like that to drag your extrusion out. And because as I've shown the action center element doesn't work very well with the extrude tool right now, I could change with even with the extrude tool active to my move tool by just pressing W. So I've pressed the W and now you see it's transform over here. So my my so now my move tool is active. When I right click in the viewport, I sh yep, then I can click on uh, an element like 
for, for instance that face or this edge or an edge over here and you see my handles get aligned to the normal of the selected element. If I for instance click on that vertex now my axes are aligned to that vertex. So for instance most straightforward is for instance to choose this edge to align and although my handles are over here it will operate on the selection so just like that. So element action center right now with extrude is a bit buggy probably. Uh, so make selection shift X right click and then press now eh, with right click my extrude has been done but I haven't offset it yet press W to activate the move tool and now my move and because element is active in the action center I can click on an uh, on an element like a face or a vert or an edge of or this edge to align my axis to a certain normal and then when I drag it out now I can perfectly drag it out along that edges normal but of course I cannot reactivate the extrude tool again like you saw for doing this this way when my access center is set to element because uh, as I've shown it's a bit buggy right now so this is the extrude tool I'm going to clear my C now control M to save my changes but I'm going to press backspace to not save going to my basic tab control click on the cube again to make a unit cube shift A to fit everything make a selection go to my polygon tab and bevel now when I right click in my viewport I get these handles and this blue and red handle if you don't see these handles then go to your pipeline and in the V column next to your tool polygon bevel right click uh, over here and set it to advanced go back to my tools over here and by default edges is set to inner I'm going to show outer later on so what can I do now right now I can inset it with a red handle and I can shift it with the blue handle or I could also click over here on these triangles to do the same like that or I can left click and drag in the viewport to hole and then I shift and inset at the same time by dragging left and right and up and down in my viewport but most of the time most straightforward way is to just use these handles just like with the extrude when I want to reactivate the bevel tool I can shift left mouse button click and you see the properties have been reset over here and I can do a new bevel and again shift click like that shift click like that and I can also do both inset and shift if I want shift click just like that to reactivate the tool and this way you can really fast create geometry and just as with the extrude middle mouse button click will reactivate my last bevel and also offset it so when I now, now window mouse button click you see I get this and when I change for instance while the tool is active my uh, inset and middle mouse button click I get this result and of course the tool is still active so I can make the changes and now again middle mouse button click just like that move it up middle mouse button click scale it a bit middle mouse button click scale it up again and maybe a bit down middle mouse button click scale it down again again middle mouse button click reactivates your tool and performs the offset shift left mouse button click just reactivates the tool like I'm going to do now shift left mouse button click my tool has been reactivated and but it has not performed the offset and so now I can perform the offset myself just like that now oh sorry I'm going to select this one press B for bevel now we have an option outer outer is best performed on, pol on, on single polygons and I'm going to show you I'm going to select this one press ctrl C to copy press N for new layer press ctrl, ctrl V to paste shift A to fit that polygon B for bevel right click to activate the bevel and set edges to outer now when I do a shift you see you get a different result with 
to inner, it's as if the inner polygon, it, so the, 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 ins the shift in the inset happens on the inner, that's why it's called inner and outer, and with outer, it's the outer side which gets shifted. And this is best done with a single polygon, and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to drop the tool, and now do the, that same bevel with outer again on all these polygons, and remember, when nothing is selected, then it's as if all polygons are selected. So with these polygons selected, B for bevel, right click to activate the tool, and now when I click and drag, uh, you get kind of an unpredictable result. Maybe it can be useful in certain circumstances. So for instance, in this case, my geometry is not too bad. I'm going to drop the tool again, press B for bevel again, right click, And you see different results according, but it's a bit unpredictable. The inset kind of is predictable, but the shift is not what you expect. So most of the time, when multiple when you have multiple polygons, it's best to use inner. And when you have a single polygon, you could use outer. But I think don't think that there are a lot of people that use it, the bevel with outer. We have used material, if you have already set materials and want to assign a certain material to your bevel. Over here we have also an important one, so I'm first going to clear my scene, Control M and Backspace. Going to create a sphere, press the Tab key to go out of sub D, Shift A to fit, make a selection. Uh, B for bevel, right click in the viewport, activate my bevel. So by default in Modo 601, when you bevel, oh and it's still outer, so I'm going to set it to inner and drag it out like that. By default group polygon is on and that means that all polygons are staying connected. When I turn it off you see now they are single polygons just like that. Very important. And over here segments I can give it the bevel a number of segments. So you see with each extra click each segment that I add I get a segment for beveling, also important. And under that we have reverse direction and reverse inset and keep aspects. I'm going to show that with a single bevel like over here. B for bevel, right click to activate the tool. I'm going to set my segments to zero, for instance, and choose uh, a profile. And you see my bevel gets a profile. But uh, beveling with profiles can be a bit tricky also. It all depends on the size of your profile and the size of your geometry. So in this case it's not very useful. Choosing a different profile is already a bit better, but I have some twisting over here. And when I've chosen a profile with my bevel, then reverse direction, reverse inset and keep aspect become uh, active. I can check keep aspect off, I can reverse the direction, I can reverse the inset like that. Don't often use bevel with a profile, so when I want to deselect this, just control left mouse button, click on it, and my profile is gone. And also these values have been grayed out again. And just like before, and I think I've shown it already, but shift clicking reactivating, and then middle mouse button click to reactivate and to reactivate the offset, just like that. So this was the bevel tool. I'm going to clear my scene again. Control M and backspace to clear everything. Control click on a cube and now make a selection of polygons on the cube. Go to my polygon tab and choose smooth shift. Right click in the view. First con con press Control D to reset my tool properties. Pressing Control D resets your tool properties. And drag it out and you see what happens, so by default I have a maximum smoothing angle of 89.5 degrees and that is important, the maximum smoothing angle, when I set it to zero um, or, sorry, about 145 for instance you see I get a different smooth shift when I set it to zero then it's as if the polygons that I originally had selected get pushed outside, outwards, like uh, a bevel with group polygons off. But 
what is in between is being filled with geometry. So you see what is in between is being filled with geometry. And I can scale it like that or like that, the other way, and I can offset it. Now it's crossing over on itself and I can keep offsetting it. So a very distinct and different behavior than the bevel tool. Not always straightforward when you want to use the smooth shift. Uh, personally I haven't found much cases where I want where I said oh this is good for the smooth shift tool. Maybe you will. So 145 then depending on the smoothing angle up to a certain point it will make a difference. So when I set it to 90 320, then nothing happens, 45, then it's kind of a cube, so it all has to do with the angles, just like that, zero. When you set it to thicken, then your original polygons will be kept, so most of the time when you do a smooth shift you will want to uncheck thicken. Uh, so your with chic with, with chicken yes, <laughs> with thicken on, then your original polygons are being kept. Sharp sometimes is not visible when you make a, uh, a change. Uh, sometimes it's very visible. Uh, let's see it for instance 145. Turn of sharp. See in this case it ma makes a big difference. It all has to do with your angles. Going to drop it for for instance, in for a new layer. I'm going to make a sphere, tap key to go out the sub D, make a selection like that, go to my polygon tab, smooth shift, right click, drag it out, and now sharp makes a bit of a difference. Shift click again to reactivate the tool, sharp off. So you see, all depending on your max smoothing angle, so over here my original polygons have been dragged out, but you see in between with this smoothing angle, new geometry has been created. So when I set it, for instance, to 200, no, 300, no, yep, it all makes a difference according to your smoothing angle, zero, the scaling, so not always straightforward, 89.5. The default. Like that. So you see, smooth shift, it's completely different behavior. Um, go to my item, Let's select this item, polygon mode again. Uh, press this one, Let's select this one, polygon tab, smooth shift, right click, control D to reset everything. This is just as if it is a regular extrude now. When I select multiple, uh, polygons, smooth shift, right click. Now we see a difference when multiple polygons are selected. When I set it to 145, then I kind of get an extrusion that has been scaled. When I set it to zero, again the polygons are being pushed out and there is a filling in of the other geometry. So the smooth shift tool very different from the bevel tool in the extrude tool, uh, but in my personal experience, not always straightforward when you will want to use this. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't all too confusing. And uh, bye for now. This was Dominic.